Hello, my super art students. Let's make some popcorn pop art. All right, for this paper sculpture, we are going to need one nine by 12 white paper, one nine by 12 of any color you like, half a shade of black paper, the glue that you love to use, uh, markers, crayons, a black marker to trace with, a pencil and an eraser, if your pencil doesn't have an eraser like mine. We're also going to use bubble wrap, so fun and a paintbrush choose your color of paint and lastly we're going to use oil pastels let's get started so i drew a horizontal line near the bottom of my paper we're going to call that our horizon line for this drawing and under that line i am going to use the side of my oil pastel to create texture so i'm using it very much like you might use chalk and I want to create a texture for the bottom of the background to my paper sculpture. This is going to be a relief sculpture, which means on one side it will be flat up against the wall, but the front of our picture is going to pop out. So this is going to be the first step for our background. So many artists use the inspiration of comic book style for their pop art, and so are we. Our bubble wrap is going to create a polka dot pattern in our background that's going to resemble a bende dot. Bende dots are a part of a printing process that used to be used in comic books. And it is just going to give it a little bit more of that pop art theme. So once you have your bubble wrap with your paint in the shape and about the size of your background on your paper, you're going to lay it gently over that area. And I'm just adding a little pressure and it's gonna print our bende dot style background. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, so cool. I love printing with bubble wrap. Alrighty, we have our background and now we're gonna start to work on our popcorn pieces because this is gonna be popcorn pop art. So we're gonna take our white paper and I'm turning it landscape style, that side to side, and I'm going to fold it in half. Sometimes we call this kind of fold a hamburger fold, but basically I'm folding it in half to look like a birthday card. Once you have your fold lined up and smoothed out, we're gonna open it up and I'm going to cut right down that folded line. So take your time and be very careful. Believe it or not, we're gonna repeat that step again. So I'm taking one half, folding it in half hamburger style, and I'm gonna cut up the middle again, but I'm only gonna do it to one of those pieces of paper. So now I have one larger paper and two smaller ones. Let's put those two small pieces aside and we are gonna start with our larger paper. I turned my paper landscape style because I'm going to write a word. I'm going to write the word pop. So let's write nice and big. We're gonna do a uppercase P, and look at how I'm using the whole height of the paper in uppercase O. And now a uppercase P again. All right, see how I try to keep all the letters the same height. That's going to help to give us that real clean and neat pop art look. All right, we're going to bubble these letters out so I can add a O in the middle. Looks like a donut. And I'm going to use a letter D shape in the middle of my P's. I'm gonna use marker for this step. You totally could use pencil first, or you could just go right ahead with, with your marker if you feel like you can get it done. I'm adding an L around both P's, and then I'm going to loop around and take my time and connect them. For the O, it's super easy. I'm just gonna trace that middle O shape. Now we have bubble letters. I can still see the skeleton of my planning of my letters. So now I'm going to grab an eraser. If you have an eraser on your pencil, that should work, but I'm gonna use our black eraser for this step. And I am going to erase all of the pencil lines and I'm gonna make them disappear. This is gonna just create that neat craftsmanship that we are looking for. Craftsmanship is when we take our time to make sure that we use care with all of our art materials. So if we have pencil, we erase where we need to erase. We are careful with our Sharpie. We cut cleanly with our scissors and we don't use too much glue. We have so many little tricks to help us have better craftsmanship. All right, now, so I'm gonna add 
even more bende dots because I really want to have that comic book theme for this project. So I'm going to create some bende dots using marker. So pick your favorite color of marker and we're going to draw a polka dot pattern on our letters. And this is going to create more comic book style flavor. All right, it's looking amazing. So find a crayon. It can be a matching crayon. So I'm looking at the colors that I have in my project so far. I have some red, some yellow, some blue. Looks like I'm working with the primary colors. I could use a blue crayon now, which would really create a nice balanced look. Or maybe I want to have a contrast with orange. Hmm, so many choices. I think I'm going to stick with blue because I like my primary color theme. I'm going to go ahead and color over my band-aid dots carefully and neatly staying inside the lines. Now we're going to add a little bit of an illusion that our letters are 3D. So I'm adding a curved line inside the O and inside the P. I can draw that with marker first and then just to add a little shading, I'm going to color it in with a black crayon. But you could try what it might look like with a different color crayon and see you might get some cool results all right our pop art word pop is looking pretty good so now we're going to take our time and cut our letters out be so careful i am cutting right on that black marker outline all right we have our letters now we're going to add that to that half sheet of black paper that we had so get your glue ready and I'm just gonna put glue on the back of my letters and I'm going to stick them to my black paper like a sticker. Whenever I'm gluing, I always look for the smallest part of the picture to glue to the larger piece. And that helps me not to have too much messy glue everywhere. So I'm just gonna glue them in order on my black paper with a little space in between. All right, so I see that I missed some spots when I was cutting. So I'm gonna use my black marker to clean that up. So I'm just gonna color right where I missed and that helps to erase that paper. It's not really erasing, but it looks really cool like it's being erased. That also helps us have better craftsmanship. All right, we're getting there only a few more steps in this beautiful project. All right, in order to cut my letters out, I really want them to stay together this time. So I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm just gonna create a little guide for myself. I'm gonna plan out where I'm gonna cut. So I'm just going to go around my letters and make a little bit of an outline so that when I cut it out, I can keep all my letters together. It is time to cut on my pencil lines, so I'm going to just use my pencil lines and follow with my scissors. I have my background. I have the word pop. I'm going to clean it up a little bit just to get that craftsmanship going. So we want our whole picture to have neatness. So it's good to keep the craftsmanship up on every step. All right, so I have all of that ready to go and now I'm gonna make my popcorn. All right, so these two pieces of paper are going to create our popcorn. So the first piece of paper is going to be our popcorn bucket. And I wanna show you how to do an accordion fold. So if you put your paper the tall way, you're going to fold up smooth it out and I'm going to flip it over when you're flipping your paper try not to turn it because that's going to give you a way different fold we want to make sure that we're still just flipping it over like a pancake I'm folding up I'm just folding a little bit so that I can go back and forth flip fold flip fold until you run out of paper all right now I'm going to I'm gonna use the traditional popcorn bucket colors, which is red and white. Of course, you can use any colors you like, but I'm gonna trace that fold line and I'm gonna color one, skip one. So I'm making a pattern, red, white, red, white. All right, we have our popcorn bucket. And because we folded it accordion style, it has a 3D pop up effect. All right, we got one more part to go and that's our popcorn. So let's grab that other small sheet of paper and a yellow crayon and a brown crayon. 
So we are going to scribble all over that white piece of paper. We're going to scribble yellow crayon. So we have that fluffy popcorn look. So we're going to scribble on both sides. We can add a couple flecks of brown because, you know, sometimes popcorn has little brown details as well. And then we're going to rip our paper into tiny pieces. These little rips of paper will become our popcorn in just about one minute. All right, I'm going to crumple them up. So each piece I'm going to crumple on its own and that's going to create the illusion that these are pieces of popcorn. All right, we have all of our pieces and now we're going to assemble and create our composition. So think of where you want your popcorn bucket to go on your paper. The choice is yours. You are the artist. You could even twist and turn to make it into whatever shape bucket you want. And I'm going to add a couple dots of glue on each side. So because I want this to pop up 3D, I don't need to put glue in the middle. I'm putting the glue on the edges so that I can give it more of a pop-up effect. All right, so now I'm going to see how I can pop it up. Maybe I could twist it into a V shape and change the shape of my bucket. Let's see. Now I'm gonna hold this down because things that are popping off of our paper, we gotta give our glue a little minute to dry so that they can stay and can hold a little better. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking the shape of that bucket. Ooh, that's looking beautiful. All right, my popcorn. Oh, wait, I got to put my popcorn first. So I'm going to put some dots of glue. I'm just going to lay out where I want my popcorn. You only need a tiny bit of glue for these tiny pieces of popcorn. And I'm just going to put a couple bits of glue where I think the popcorn would look good first. And then I can add all of my popcorn that's my strategy, but I'm sure you have some great ideas too of how to glue the popcorn on. All right, it's looking like a bucket of popcorn. So now we're gonna add our final touch, which is our pop art word pop on our paper. And you can put it anywhere you want. It is your art. I think I like mine right there. I think it fits so nicely. And snap, snap, look at that. We have a popcorn relief sculpture. Wonderful work today, friends. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe.